December 7th has been proposed for him to come back against. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I think this is a terrible fight for Devin Haney to have right now. I think it's horrible. You don't bounce back and fight Liam Paro. Yeah. You don't come off the most devastating event of your young history, uh, your young career, and fight Liam Paro. Yeah. You don't come back after having some mentally mental damage and question and questions regarding your ability to perform at the high level and fight Liam Paro. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. December 7th, huh? December 7th, huh? That's what we're doing? December 7th is when we're going to get Devin Haney. You know what I'm talking about? AKA the American Dream. Yeah. AKA last time we seen him, he was on his plane. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. We're getting him back in the ring. You know what I'm talking about? What? I see you. A left hook from Devin. Oh, he dropped him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch! Shout out to Devin Haney, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, last time we seen him, he was cheated. Uh, yes, he was cheated by Ryan Garcia. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all. In the ring, you know, that fight resulted in a no contest uh, between them two. But the mental damage is done. You know, in my opinion, I think that Devin Haney has a lot to bounce back from. And I think he is capable of doing it. But we're still interested in seeing if he, he if he can pull through. You know, I think it's going to be a hell of a hill to climb. But if he's as great as he says he is and as we believe, then he should be able to climb that hill. You know what I'm saying? And, and greatness isn't, isn't achieved with ease. You know, you got to put some blood and sweat and tears into it, man. So uh, with that being said, December 7th has been proposed for him to come back against... <laughs> Who that is? Oh, see, boxing's finest right now. Liam Paro, man. Aussie's boxing's finest, Liam Paro. The reason why I say he's Australia's finest is because, as you know, if you pay attention to this channel, I had Liam Paro beating Matias. I had Liam Paro last year pinned as a guy that would have a breakout year this year, and this came into fruition, man. I'm not saying I'm Nostradamus. I'm just saying put a little respect on my name. You know what I'm talking about? When my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll drill y'all. Stop playing with my name. I ain't gonna say it no more. So with that being said, I think this is a terrible fight for Devin Haney to have right now. I think it's horrible. You don't bounce back and fight Liam Paro. Yeah. You don't come off the most devastating event of your young history, uh, your young career, and fight Liam Paro. Yeah. You don't come back after having some mentally mental damage and question and questions regarding your ability to perform at the high level and fight Liam Paro. So with that being said, man, I think that Liam Paro for me is is the favorite in this fight and um yeah i don't like this fight for for a bounce back but i love this fight because it's gonna prove a lot of things for Devin haney right is he is he who we say is he still who we say he is uh can he still come back and be a championship level fighter um it, it, does, does he bounce back from this from from the ryan garcia fight uh, uh and look in true in true form like he was before you know what i'm saying there's a lot of questions that could be answered i think Liam Paul is a perfect opponent to do so because if Devin haney is as good as we think he is and and he still has it then he will bounce back against um, Liam Paul and Liam Paul is a great opponent to showcase your skills and showcase that you still got it against but I just think this is biting off too much you could chew you know even Shakur Stevenson and Teofimo when they when they bounce back from a fight that they won you know um, against uh, uh, Edwin De Los Santos and and Jermaine Ortiz, respectively, you know, Teofimo came back, even off a of victory, had a bounce back fight, you know what I'm saying, to showcase his greatness against Steve Claggett. He didn't really, he failed to impress, but he still had a bounce back fight coming off a win. Same with Shakur Stevenson. He had a bounce back fight against Artem Hurtingian. So in my opinion, Devin Haney should fight somebody like maybe somebody else is coming off of a loss, like Esau Pippa Cruz, or maybe fight somebody else that, you know, uh, like Blair the Flair Cops, who, who, who is, who is, who is, who is good, but we just don't know how good. It'll be a good measure of sticks, but you coming back to fight Liam Paul, who, who, who quote unquote uh, um, put the boogeyman back under the bed or back in the co closet uh, like Subro Matias? What do you mean by that? And yeah, man, I think Liam Paul is going to be too much in my opinion, and I think Liam Paul is going to win this fight. But it's going to be a good one, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a good one, answer a lot of questions, and that's proposed for December 7th. Devin Haney traveling down to Australia. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Do you think Devin Haney wins easily? Do you think this is a great comeback fight? Do you think that Devin Haney should get a, uh, a less of a capable fighter for a tune-up? And then think about challenging Liam Paul later, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Yeah. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're in nothing.
piss, man. We in Florida, man. It's hot, boy. I'm telling you, I'm in here sweating. We cut on this AC. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Hey.